Um, broadly coding and stats. So I'd say that it kind of depends. So in quant, there's really sort of two main tracks. There's like the QD track, quant dev, and then QR, quant research. Q and the, the two work a ton with each other and there can be crossover. People sometimes switch. Like I started on QD and I switched to QR. Um, but the, the tracks are like a little bit different in the skill set they demand. QD is more, uh, you got to know C++. You got to be comfortable with making things run fast. Um, you have to know enough stats to be able to understand what research is talking about and, and turn that into like uh, a robust training system. Um, and then QR is a little bit more focused on the stats side of things. So we look for people who have very strong intuition about um, linear regression, all the different ways that you can regularize the linear regression. What are the common concerns when you're um, thinking about, you know, constructing a model from very noisy inputs? Um, we look for machine learning backgrounds in a lot of this stuff. We look for people that have worked with data in a professional setting is a big one. Um, we hire a lot of people out of academia. It's probably like, in, on the QR side, it's probably 75% of people have a PhD. And so we're, we're and they, they come from a pretty wide range of PhDs. Like I work with the biostatistician and astrophysics PhD, um, computer science PhDs, math, like math PhDs, but with the exception of the math PhDs who are like a little bit of a special case, the thing that all these uh, tracks have in common is they all work with data. They're all, and their essence, trying to turn some unstructured data into some insight, which is at its, at its core what we're trying to do. So that's, that's sort of the more common track for QR. More commonly for QD, we're either hiring out of like a, an, there's a lot of direct from undergrad. There's also direct from undergrad in, in QR, um, but we're also hiring a lot of people out, directly out of tech. So people coming to us from Facebooks and Googles um, who are looking for, you know, maybe something a little bit different, but the same kind of attention to high performance compute.